Can you uh, tell me about your interest in peer assessment? We adopted peer assessment because we were aware that our distance learning students wanted a way of feeling more part of the assessment process, a good way of getting good feedback on group assignments, particularly when they're at such a distance, so it connects them more with Edinburgh, gives them more of an embodied feel in the assessment process. And briefly, can you explain what you did? We used a tool called WebPA, which is a free tool that's provided by Loughborough. We worked with Stephen Vickers in Information Services, and he helped us to um, embed it within WebCT. It's a WebCT Paralink, and that allows the students to grade each other based on criteria that we set, which are all to do with group um, activity, so whether the student, they felt other students in their group had done it sufficient research, whether they com came to the activity with good ideas and good um, team work, good group work um, criteria. It takes the group mark and alters it based on the criteria that the students have graded each other against. So if you've got a group who've worked well together, they've all graded each other the same, then their group overall mark will not change. If, on the other hand, you have some students who haven't really taken part in the activity and are, as a result, graded down by their peers, their mark will drop where other members of the group, their mark will go up. So the students actually get a good um, idea of how well they've participated, how well their peers have viewed their input to the group activity and the students seem to have liked that. So you, you said that the students liked that. Did you get, were all the comments positive? Not all the comments were positive because some of the students weren't quite sure how the WebPA algorithm worked. So the notes and guidance and introduction we'd given them to WebPA had to be altered for future groups. What they thought would happen was if they all graded each other really well, their group mark would go up as a whole, where in actual fact, if all students grade each other the same, the group mark stays the same, it doesn't go up or down. So once we'd explained that, then it was good feedback. And do you have any advice that you would give to any other staff who are thinking of introducing this sort of scheme in their course? I think the preparation in advance and the notification of the students is important. So once you've got clear guidance, and some of that is provided by Loughborough, so we will be able to use their notes and then adapt them to suit our students. Providing clear guidance at the outset, why you're using it, what you're using it for, what you expect the results to be, what previous students' feedback has been, and again, Loughborough give you some examples of guidance and feedback that they've got from their students. And from the outset, making the students feel as if they're part of the decision that you're making. So you're doing it for their benefit, and you hope that their feedback will then help others, <laughs> and that you're willing to adapt to suit their feedback at the end of it. So it's, it's kind of a, everything is about enabling the students and making them feel part of it, which is what we want to do.